ठीक है सर लाइव हो जाए गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स प्रीवियस ईयर टॉपिक्स ऑफ साइकेट्री फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज फॉर्मल थॉट डिसऑर्डर यस डिसऑर्डर ऑफ फॉर्म ऑफ थॉट और फॉर्मल थॉट डिसऑर्डर डिरेलमेंट वन क्वेश्चन इज फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क दैट फॉर्मल थॉट डिसऑर्डर्स आर सीन इन सीज ऑफ रेनिया एंड मोस्ट करेक्टरिस्टिक फॉर्मल थॉट डिसऑर्डर इज नियोलॉगिज्म नियोलॉगिज्म so to remember formal thought disorders we have mnemonic form as plate form form as plate form so anything related to train rail are included in formal thought disorders just like rail derailment just like in this question formal thought disorder form as plate form rail derailment all these three are disorder of position of thought disorder of position of thought recently asked question obsession controversial obsession is disorder of possession of thought content so if question is asked obsession is disorder of possession or content best answer is possession if not given the option then you can mark the answer content so again i come to mnemonic formal thought disorder form plate form derailment rail loosening of association means the association between two bogey of train is lost loosening of association incoherence complete loss of organization just like accident of train tangentiality jaise rail ka pathway hota hai toy train hoti hai jo toys hote hain blocks hote hain that is tangent tangent to tangentiality circumstantiality circumstantiality gol gol ghoom raha hai perseveration same thing again and again thought block all these are blocks and neologism nai logi nai bogi neologism i just told you neologism is most characteristic formal thought disorder of schizophrenia now mnemonic disorder of possession of thought possession as obsession mnemonic obsession possession same likh lag raha hai सेकेंड निमोनिक में कहूंगा पी के पी के मूवी देखी है ही वॉज हैविंग रेडियो रेडियो मतलब ब्रॉडकास्टिंग तो थॉट ब्रॉडकास्टिंग इज डिसऑर्डर ऑफ पर्सन थॉट विड्रॉल पी के मूवी ही विड्रॉल ऑल द थॉट्स यस थॉट विड्रॉल थॉट एलिनेशन दिस इज एलियन तो थॉट एलिनेशन सो दीज आर डिसऑर्डर ऑफ पर्सन ऑफ थॉट यू कैन गिव मी आंसर यस न्यूलोग इज सीन इन yes schizophrenia schizophrenia now this is a question 23 year old girl is brought to psychiatry opd by her mother first heard voice 7 months ago when they started to make fun of her means these are hallucination hallucination she does not drink alcohol or use illicit drugs physical and neurological examination show no abnormalities on mental status examination her speech is slow and monotonous this is not so specific she is having delusion of persecution so delusion of persecution delusion is there hallucination is there duration of symptom more than 6 month means 7 months 7 months is more than 6 month you know delusion hallucination means two or more than two symptoms for more than 6 month diagnosis is schizophrenia yes please give a answer diagnosis is schizophrenia she occasionally direct her attention to ceiling as if she was listening to someone this is again hallucination so answer is schizophrenia in the same question you will give me answer yes in the same question if i say that duration is 5 months then what would be the answer yes please do comment 5 months what would be the answer yes if 1 to 6 months delusion hallucination for 1 to 6 month the diagnosis would be schizophreniform disorder if less than 1 month then brief psychotic disorder brief psychotic disorder another name yes atpd according to icd 11 icd 11 the name is atpd little bit difference is there but you will remember the 
कॉमन नेम ऑफ ब्रीफ साइकोटिक डिसऑर्डर और एटीपीडी इज एक्यूट साइकोसिस यस इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैव गिवन द ड्यूरेशन सेवन मंथ लेट मी डिस्क्राइब यस डिल्यूजन हेलुसिनेशन फॉर्मल थोट डिसऑर्डर कैटाटोनिक बिहेवियर नेगेटिव सिम्टम्स आउट ऑफ दीज टू और मोर देन टू सिम्टम्स आर प्रेजेंट फॉर मोर देन सिक्स मंथ द डायग्नोसिस वुड बी सीजोफ्रेनिया आई जस्ट टोल्ड यू इन दिस क्वेश्चन इफ सिम्टम्स टू और मोर देन टू सिम्टम वन मंथ टू सिक्स मंथ्स देन द डायग्नोसिस वुड बी सीजोफ्रेनी फॉर्म डिसऑर्डर if less than 1 month one or more than one symptom is sufficient yes less than one month then diagnosis is brief psychotic disorder brief psychotic disorder according to icd atpd common name to both of these acute psychosis okay so in question if duration is changed answer would be changed one question has been asked on schizo affective disorder schizo affective means schizophrenic symptom affective symptoms may be depression or mania if symptoms of schizophrenia and symptom of depression both are there for most of the duration of illness then you will say schizo affective disorder depression type schizo affective disorder manic type means both schizophrenic symptoms and manic symptoms are present during most of the illness time of illness then it is schizo affective disorder manic type now next question a person after road traffic accident operated of hip fracture patient was shifted to icu now patient develops suspiciousness over family member that they want to kill me they want to take my property yes this is delusion of persecution delusion of persecution means somebody wants to harm me patient also visualize snakes on floor visual hallucination so first question visual hallucination if any question you find you will suspect organicity organicity question has been asked in fmg that which of the following symptoms does not suggest organicity yes auditory hallucination usually found in psychiatric disorders most of the psychiatric disorder but visual hallucination suggest organicity so auditory hallucination question has been asked in psychiatry most common hallucination is auditory hallucination so psychiatric disorder so in this question delusion is there visual hallucination is there if these symptoms are present you will say acute psychosis till now till now if they don't give if they don't give this line then the answer would be acute psychosis but in the same question if they added that patient is not oriented to time place person appears confused means in any question if you find acute confusional state acute confusional state or disorientation acute acute disorientation or drowsiness drowsiness or clouding of consciousness clouding of consciousness the diagnosis would be delirium point it out in any question you find that there is acute confusional state disorientation drowsiness clouding of consciousness then the answer would be delirium in the same question if they say that these symptoms appear and patient was taking alcohol for last 15 year 10 year now he is stopped taking alcohol then it would be delirium tremens alcohol withdrawal okay and in this there would be these symptoms plus autonomic symptoms just like tremors tremors would be there got the point so i have told you multiple question on the same way yes if this question is there and till now acute psychosis they added one more thing delirium they added one more thing that alcohol history of alcohol plus tremors then it is delirium tremens okay this question fmg previously asked question 
आफ्टर सेवेंटी टू आवर्स ऑफ स्टॉपिंग एल्कोहल यूज पेशेंट विद एल्कोहल डिपेंडेंस विल प्रोड्यूस यस प्रजेंट विद यू नो ट्रेमर्स If a person is taking alcohol for such a long time, ten year, fifteen year, now he stopped taking alcohol. In the morning, he would have tremors. He took last intake in night. Now wake up in the morning and he started having tremors. That is most common question has been asked, or earliest. Both questions are there. Seizures within twenty four hours, around twenty four hours. Delirium tremens. D मतलब die. T मतलब try. Two days to three days means forty-eight hours to seventy-two hours. Although this duration is not fixed, but question has been asked in FMG, so you will remember. Yes, around seventy-two hours delirium tremens. So this is not fixed, but questions are asked. Now. In alcohol dependence, okay, substance is very important. Every time you will find one question from substance. So detoxification means if a patient is taking alcohol, we want to reduce withdrawal symptom. Which drug we will give? We will give benzodiazepine, long-acting benzodiazepine, chlorodiazepoxide is drug of choice. But in question, you will find that patient is taking alcohol for 10-15 years. Now came to you, uh, your emergency and your liver function test machine is not working. yes you know alcohol will lead to liver dysfunction so if liver is not working properly then we will prefer short acting benzodiazepine so if question is asked liver function test machine is not working then prefer drug is lorazepam okay or oxazepam or if you are sitting in periphery left facility is not there which drug you will prefer definitely lorazepam oxazepam okay very good evening please explain about brief psychotic episode and schizoaffective disorder let me discuss brief psychotic disorder i just told you in brief psychotic disorder one symptom should be there out of these one symptom should be there for one symptom for one month to one day to one month okay to be more precise or simply you can say one symptom is sufficient to make the diagnosis of brief psychotic disorder okay for less than one month this is brief psychotic disorder okay now schizo affective i will explain schizo affective like this suppose a person is having delusion hallucination delusion hallucination for 6 months and a patient is having depressive symptoms depressive symptoms for 5 and 1/2 month depressive symptoms and delusion and hallucination for 6 month means he is having schizophrenic symptom he is having affective symptoms for most of the duration of illness means out of 6 month 5 5 and 1/2 month is having both schizophrenic symptom and depressive symptom this is schizo affective disorder okay good evening dear so is it clear now you can give me answer a patient with history of chronic alcohol use was admitted and operated for acute appendicitis yes after the surgery patient appeared confused yes confused what is the answer confused means delirium history of alcohol means delirium tremens okay suspect family member that they want to kill me and report seeing snakes in the uh, ward room means visual hallucinations are there so answer is yes delirium tremens got the point now wernicke's encephalopathy question has been asked so many times wernicke's mnemonic is goa global confusion ophthalmoplasia ataxia question has been asked that in wernicke's encephalopathy lesion at mammillary body mammillary body mnemonic w ulta kar doge m what is the treatment alcohol se related jitne bhi disorder hain unme treatment kya hoga थायमीन सो इसमें हाई डोज आई वी थायमीन यहीं पर हम डिस्कस करेंगे 
यहीं पे डिस्कस करेंगे ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ डिलीरियम एंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ डिलीरियम ट्रेमंस डिलीरियम ट्रेमंस डिलीरियम यस अनदर नेम इज आईसीयू साइकोसिस आईसीयू साइकोसिस तो ट्रीटमेंट वुड बी लो डोज एंटी साइकोटिक लो डोज एंटी साइकोटिक्स डिलीरियम ट्रेमंस यस डिलीरियम ट्रेमंस वी विल गिव आई वी लोराजिपाम प्लस आई वी थायमीन प्लस आई वी डेक्सट्रोज दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्क वी विल गिव डेक्सट्रोज आफ्टर थायमीन डेक्सट्रोज हम थायमीन के बाद देंगे क्यों देंगे क्योंकि डेक्सट्रोज यूटिलाइज थायमीन डेक्सट्रोज मेटाबोलिज्म हमने मेडिसिन में पढ़ाया और बायोकेमिस्ट्री में पढ़ाया है कि डेक्सट्रोज के मेटाबॉलिज्म के लिए थायमीन की जरूरत होती है एंड द पेशेंट ऑफ अल्कोहल डिपेंडेंस ऑलरेडी हैविंग थायमीन डिफिशिएंसी सो इफ यू गिव डेक्सट्रोज फर्स्ट द रिमेनिंग थायमीन वुड बी यूटिलाइज फॉर डेक्सट्रोज एंड दे वुड बी एक्यूट प्रेसिपिटेशन ऑफ थायमीन डिफिशेंसी सो क्या करते हैं हम पहले लोराजी पाम देन थायमीन देन डेक्सट्रोज ओके कोर्सक ऑफ सिंड्रोम This is a chronic complication. In this anterograde amnesia and retrograde amnesia both are there, but more anterograde amnesia. One question was asked in Korsakoff syndrome: there is no hallucination. Actually, sometimes you will find the word Korsakoff psychosis. Psychosis. Actually, it is not psychosis. So, no hallucination. In this, confabulations are there. Confabulation means filling the gap, filling the memory gap by false story, false story. That is confabulation. Treatment is oral thiamine. Okay. Yes. Wernicke cephalopathy, IV thiamine, high dose. Korsakoff, oral thiamine. Yes. Tobacco, yes, cigarette smoking, anti-craving drug, vernicline and bupropion. Both questions are asked. If one question is asked, that which is better? So vernicline is better than bupropion. Vernicline may produce suicidal thought. Bupropion, it is NDRI, norepinephrine dopamine reuptake inhibitor. This is antidepressant. So question has been asked, which anti-craving for cigarette smoking is having antidepressant activity yes that is bupropion clear now so 27 year old man came to opd with chief complaint of bug crawling all over him that is tactile hallucination tactile hallucination yes insects crawling over the skin tactile hallucination another name is formication formication Another name is Magnan phenomena. Magnan phenomena. Okay. In examination, there is black pigmentation of buccal mucosa. Yes, cocaine use lead to yes tactile hallucination, buccal mucosa, mucosa pigmentation. Third thing, yes, mechanism of action. You must know that cocaine. What cocaine do? It inhibit reuptake of norepinephrine. Norepinephrine reuptake is inhibited when it is inhibited. Okay. Then norepinephrine increases. If norepinephrine increases, this will cause vasoconstriction. If you are snorting again and again, then there would be vasoconstriction of nasal septum. This will lead to ischemia. Nasal septal perforation, septal perforation. Vasoconstriction will lead to myocardial infarction. So, all our question. Norepinephrine increase will lead to tachycardia, tachycardia. So, tachycardia. Question has been asked in INICT, can be repeated in your FMG. Single line question was there that in cocaine intoxication, which of the following is not a symptom? And the one option was bradycardia. No, in cocaine intoxication, there would be tachycardia. Clear? So this is cocaine. Yes. Now, this is cocaine intoxication. Yes, sorry, cocaine use side effect. Now, 
ओपियोइड ओपियोइड इंटॉक्सिकेशन यस ओपियोइड इंटॉक्सिकेशन देर इज ए ट्रायड ऑफ पिन पॉइंट प्यूपल पिन पॉइंट प्यूपल रेस्पिरेटरी डिप्रेशन एंड कोमा डेथ यूजली अकर ड्यू टू रेस्पिरेटरी डिप्रेशन डेथ सो ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ओपियोड इंटॉक्सिकेशन क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्क दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रीट ओपियोड इंटॉक्सिकेशन यस इनिशियल मैनेजमेंट दैट वुड बी सेक्योर एयर वे सेक्योर एयर वे यस एंड ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस आई वी नेलोक्सोन नेलोक्सोन ओके विदड्रॉल सिम्टम्स ऑफ ओपियोइड आर वेरी डिस्टर्बिंग दोज आर फ्लू लाइक सिंड्रोम फ्लू लाइक सिंड्रोम लेक्राइमेशन वुड बी देयर लाइनोरिया स्वेटिंग डायरिया ओके ओल सिक्रेशन आर इंक्रीज पॉइंट इट आउट येस इन ओपियोइड विदड्रॉल ओल सिक्रेशन आर इंक्रीज योनिंग इज देयर पायलो एक्शन इज देयर मिड्रियासिस वुड बी देयर येस इंटॉक्सिकेशन देर वॉज पिन पॉइंट पीपल सो विदड्रॉल देर वुड बी मिड्रियासिस ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यस according to icd 11 which of the following diagnosis is now included as ocrd yes please do reply yes all these are impulse control disorder impulse control disorder yes pyromania kleptomania trichotillomania intermittent explosive disorder gambling disorder according to icd 10 impulse control disorder but icd 11 trichotillomania is obsessive compulsive and related disorder according to icd 11 yes gambling disorder is gambling disorder is addiction so you will remember icd 11 included trichotillomania and hypochondriasis hypo chondriasis as ocrd so you will mug up that ocrd include hypochondriasis and trichotillomania recent change okay so this is ocrd classification according to icd 11 if you don't remember the complete ex, uh, this classification at least remember this hypochondriasis is now ocrd and trichotillomania is now ocrd clear now ocrd so many diagnoses are there little bit explanation of each and every one yes ocd obsessive compulsive disorder recurrent and intrusive thought come again and again yes you know that a person is having ocd of contamination yes thoughts comes in his mind again and again that his hands are dirty hands are dirty hands are dirty that is ocd obsession of contamination contamination most common obsession is obsession of contamination and he will do washing again and again that is compulsion so compulsion is washing hand washing hand second most common obsession is pathological doubt pathological doubt yes pathological doubt compulsion would be checking so now you will remember question is asked most common obsession is contamination most common compulsion is checking so both are question question has been asked that most common obsession is contamination was not given in the option then we mark the answer pathological doubt okay in ocd what is the treatment yes a person yes a person often feel that his hands are dirty and urge to wash his hands recently he noticed that these repetitive and distressing thoughts of hand washing is affecting his performance so this is obsessive compulsive disorder best treatment is erp yes exposure and response prevention plus ssri in this question they have asked erp and cognitive behavior therapy so out of these a is better than b a is better than p okay 
Now trichotillomania. So many times question has been asked. Repeated pulling of hair. Patient pull hair. Okay, urge comes again and again and pull hair. Trichotillomania. There would be patch of baldness. Patient would eat these hairs. Trichophasia. Trichophasia. When he will eat, this may lead to intestinal obstruction. Trichobezoar. Trichobezoar. So, trichobezoar, a question was asked. They gave this image. They gave this image and they asked that uh, this patient should be referred to which specialty? And the answer was psychiatry. FMG question. One time they asked question, they gave an image of uh, uh, running water and a person is washing hand. So that was again example of OCD. Yes. Now, what is the answer? Before that, you must know catatonia. Catatonia. Yes, in catatonia, symptoms are mutism yes mutism is a part of stupor stupor question has been asked separately stupor there is triad triad of mutism akinesia and hyporesponsiveness hyporesponsiveness negativism vexi flexibility posturing echolalia echopraxia Yes, echopraxia, these are found in catatonia. Echolalia question has been asked, what is echolalia? Mimicking examiner's speech. Suppose I say, what is your name? Patient says, what is your name? Just like boyfriend, girlfriend uh, playing copycat. Okay. Echopraxia, if I do like this and this, patient will do like this and this, means mimicking examiner's motor movement, echopraxia. So, if these symptoms are there, diagnosis is catatonia, initial management, initial management, that is lorazepam, yes, and treatment of choice, current laga do, yadi catatonia hai to kya laga hoge? modified ECT, yes, modified ECT. So, in this medical management or initial management, the answer would be Lorazi palm. Now, yes, I just told you motor symptom, catatonic symptom, stupor, echolalia, echopraxia, I just told you, posturing, maintaining abnormal posture, this question can be asked, maintaining abnormal posture for long time is called posturing. Now, yes, a 41 year old male al always doubt his wife that she is cheating on him and fights with her without any reason for one year. So, duration of symptom one year. What is the diagnosis? Duration of symptom one year and patient is having delusion, delusion of infidelity that my wife is cheating on me. She, patient also report occasional hallucination. Rest behavior is normal. This can be due to in persistent delusional disorder, there is one or related delusion, one delusion. Otherwise, patient is normal. He is walk, talking nicely, he is behaving nicely, polish shoes, uh, yes, nice clothes, everything is okay. Whenever you touch the domain of his wife, means delusion, yes, he start aggressive, being aggressive. So, means one only one delusion is there, other things are normal. These patient may have occasional hallucination occasional hallucination may be present okay if occasional hallucinations are there pdd got the point so persistent delusional disorder yes in the same question if they say that hallucinations are there point it out in persistent delusional disorder delusion is there occasional hallucination may be present but if persistent hallucinations are there then the diagnosis would be schizophrenia so in the same question if they remove occasional word the diagnosis would become schizophrenia clear now treatment resistant schizophrenia 
सपोज ए सीजोफ्रेनिक पेशेंट केम टू मी इन सीजोफ्रेनिया यू नो सीजोफ्रेनिया वी गिव एंटी साइकोटिक सीजोफ्रेनिया इज ए साइकोटिक डिसऑर्डर सो वी गिव एंटी साइकोटिक्स सो ए पेशेंट केम टू मी हैविंग सीजोफ्रेनिया आई स्टार्टेड एंटी साइकोटिक सपोज करो हैलोपेरिडोल आई स्टार्टेड हैलोपेरिडोल आई गेव फोर टू सिक्स वीक्स पेशेंट इज नॉट हैविंग एनी इंप्रूवमेंट आई चेंज द ड्रग टू थाजोन थाजीन और usually not used olanzapine or any other drug for 4 to 6 weeks means two drugs for 4 to 6 weeks no improvement then it is treatment resistant schizophrenia and the best drug for this is clozapine clozapine best drug is clozapine okay clozapine is having side effect clozapine i remember as close up Yes, close-up in eyes. Remember, as close-up, whenever you do brush with close-up, excessive salivation would be there. So increase salivation. Okay, hyperlipidemia would be there. Blood glucose would be increased. Means metabolic syndrome. Close-up in lead to metabolic syndrome. So in this question, they have given that two drugs are ineffective, and now you are giving drug which increase salivation. So definitely answer would be close-up in. Question has been asked that clozapine is having anti-suicidal property. Anti-suicidal property. Okay. Clozapine dose-dependent side effect. Dose-dependent side effect. That is generalized tonic-clonic seizure. Dangerous side effect. Dangerous side effect. That is a granulocytosis. A granulocytosis. Question has been asked. So that's the reason. Whenever you start close up in, you do TLC, DLC every week for six months. हर हफ्ते पेशेंट को बुलाओगे TLC, DLC करोगे six month तक. Got the point? paradoxical suicide very very important suppose a patient is having severe depression severe depression is having suicidal ideation suicidal ideation you admitted the patient patient may severe depression hai patient is having low energy low energy but suicidal ideation are there he will not commit suicide because he is not having energy who will go to market bazar kon jayega rassi kon laega kon latkega manna chahta hai rassi se phansi se latkna manna chahta hai lekin energy nahi hai but now you started treatment you admit the patient you started treatment patient started improving now energy is coming but suicidal thought is still present suicidal thought is still present now if you discharge the patient then what will happen energy is there he will go to market will buy rope will hang himself means suicide is more common in recovery phase suicide occurring at the time when patient start to recover is called paradoxical suicide okay so whenever you discharge a patient you are concerned with suicide this question has been asked two three times that a patient is admitted in ward and you started patient on tca tricyclic antidepressant severe depression now you are discharging the patient what is your major concern what is the concern paradoxical suicide tca tricyclic antidepressant question has been asked yes lead to toxicity if high dose antidote is sodium bicarbonate iv sodium bicarbonate yes in tricyclic antidepressant toxicity iv sodium bicarbonate stages of death and dying mnemonic is dabda dabda if a person came to know that he is about to die through which phases he will go first of all Yes, you must have seen Munna Bhai MBBS, Jimmy Shergill. No, no, no. I can't have cancer. मुझे cancer नहीं हो सकता. मैं cancer कैसे हो सकता है? मैंने तो कभी smoke नहीं किया. मैंने कभी drink नहीं किया. That is denial. Anger, anger towards God. Hey God, why me? Anger. Bargaining. Hey God, save me this time. मैं सवा रुप सवा सौ रुपए का पसार चढ़ाऊँगा. सवा तो खत्म हो गया अब. सवा सौ रुपए का पसार चढ़ाऊँगा. Bargaining. Yes. 
देन डिप्रेशन जब वो एक्सेप्ट कर ले yes, जब वो पता चलेगा कि दैट नाउ ओनली फ्यू डेज आर लेफ्ट फॉर ऑफ हिज लाइफ देन पेशेंट वुड गो इन डिप्रेशन देन एक्सेप्टेंस सो दिस इज डाबडा यस सो डाबडा इंक्लूड डिनाइल एंगर बार्गेनिंग नोट एजिटेशन ओके दिस क्वेश्चन एफ एम जी रिपीट क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ ए थर्टी टू ईयर ओल्ड मेल पेशेंट प्रजेंट टू साइकेट्रिक ओपीडी विद हिस्ट्री ऑफ रिकरेंट प्री मेच्योर जैक्यूलेशन लीड टू इंटरपर्सनल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विच ऑर द फॉलोइंग नॉन फार्मेकोलॉजिकल ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस यस प्री मेच्योर जैक्यूलेशन डेफिनेशन क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क अकॉर्डिंग टू डी एस एम फाइव इफ मेल इजैक्यूलेट्स इन लेस दैन वन मिनट आफ्टर पेनीट्रेशन यस दैन इट इज प्री मेच्योर जैक्यूलेशन इट इज कॉमनली साइकोजेनिक ट्रीटमेंट इज साइकोथेरापी स्क्वीज टेक्निक स्टोप स्टार्ट टेक्निक स्क्वीज टेक्निक यस मेल जेनेटली इज स्टिमुलेटेड बाई फीमेल वैन मेल इज अबाउट टू जैक्यूलेट फीमेल स्टोप्स आफ्टर सम टाइम पेशेंट लर्न हाउ टू होल्ड द जैक्यूलेशन यस दिस इज रिपीटेड मल्टीपल टाइम स्क्वीज टेक्निक वैन कपल इज इंडल्ज इन सेक्शुअल एक्टिविटी दैन वैन मेल इज अबाउट टू जैक्यूलेट ही स्टोप्स एंड वैन डिजायर इज गोन ही स्टार्ट अगेन सो स्टाप स्टोप स्टार्ट टेक्निक और सीमस टेक्निक दैट इज कपल थ्रैपी यस सो इन दिस स्क्वीज टेक्निक इज द आंसर ओके एट फ्यू प्लेसेस इट इज रिटर्न दैट दीज आर डॉक्टर ए स्टेजेस ऑफ ग्रीफ बट एक्चुअली दीज आर स्टेजेस ऑफ डेथ एंड डाइंग फ्यू लिटरेचर सेज दैट दीज आर स्टेजेस ऑफ ग्रीफ आल्सो ओके नाउ एस एस आर आई फॉर प्री मेच्योर जैक्यूलेशन दैट इज डेपोक्सीटीन recently approved by fda short acting ssri you know ssri cause delays ejaculation delays ejaculation so we use this property or side effect in the treatment of premature ejaculation okay so question is asked if a patient is already suffering already suffering with sexual dysfunction you will not give ssri so which drug you will prefer question has been asked that which drug are not having sexual side effect the answer is bupropion mirtazapine mirtazapine no sexual side effect erectile dysfunction yes most common cause psychogenic most common organic cause diabetes yes how you will differentiate between psychogenic and organic psychogenic early morning erection would be present if early morning erection is there means there is no abnormality in the mechanism means the erectile dysfunction is psychogenic nocturnal erection present psychogenic nocturnal penine intumescence is normal then it is psychogenic got the point treatment treatment of erectile dysfunction dual sex therapy or master injection technique couple is treated in this sensate focus technique pharmacotherapy phosphodiesterase inhibitor like sildenafil and tadalafil okay now frequently asked question uncontrolled and excessive sexual desire in men is called satiresis excessive sexual desire in male nymphomania excessive sexual desire in female sadism means sexual arousal and gratification by giving pain to the partner giving pain to the pain to partner voyeurism yes wow wa kya scene hai means sexual arousal and gratification by seeing others indulge in sexual activity okay now a girl normal language milestone spends her time seeing her own hands means that is stereotypic behavior continuously repetitive behavior does not interact with others means no social interaction that is yes let me describe before going to this yes let me describe here recently so many question has been asked on this topic 
autism three domains are affected impairment in social interaction means no eye to eye contact no social smile no anxiety towards a stranger no affection towards mother yes the impairment in social interaction repetitive and restricted behavior just like wringing of hand continuous watching playing with same toys again and again restricted and repetitive behavior impairment of language and communication if all these three are present then it is autism in asperger syndrome asperger syndrome impairment in social interaction is there repetitive behavior is there language is normal in haller syndrome haller's syndrome all these three are there but these symptom appear after 2 years means normal development till 2 years after that regression so all these three symptoms are there but after 2 years haller syndrome and the fourth one is rat syndrome rat syndrome yes all these three are there but after 5 months means normal development till 5 months after regression so rat syndrome so many question recently ask first question is microcephaly microcephaly rat ka tumne sir dekha hoga bada chhota sa hota hai to microcephaly rat syndrome mein kya hoga x link dominant hai ye link dominant so more common in female than male recently asked question that rat syndrome is exclusively found in female previously we used to say rat syndrome is exclusively found in female now we start saying it is more common in female than male because few patient of rat syndrome found in males also recently asked question drug approved for rat syndrome is trofinetide trofinetide question so rat syndrome is having clear cut basis so now icd 11 point it out it is very very important icd 11 said that we will remove this criteria if we remove this criteria all these three are same no rat syndrome all these three means autism aspergen and haller syndrome so according to icd 11 and dsm 5 all these three sorry all these three autism aspergen syndrome and haller syndrome haller syndrome common name is autism spectrum disorder autism spectrum disorder so in this girl they have not given about microcephaly or uh, yes uh, so you can't say rat syndrome yes asperger syndrome yes you will mark the answer because language is normal language is normal so answer is asperger syndrome now in the same question in the same question if i say language is also disturbed language absent then the answer would be please do reply yes if language repetitive behavior social interaction all these th three domain are there the answer would be autism answer would be autism okay clear so satyam it's not rat syndrome yes lithium side effect abstain anomaly well proate neural tube defect so both lithium and well proate are not used in pregnancy yes but if question is asked which of the following drug should not be used in pregnancy and one to choose better answer would be valproate again i repeat both valproate and lithium should be avoided in pregnancy but if question is asked which of the following drug should be avoided in pregnancy valproate and lithium both are given better answer would be valproate because the chance or prevalence of neural tube defect with valproate is more than lithium okay double depression okay double depression you all know depression criteria of depression should be fulfilled five symptoms should be there to make the diagnosis of depression yes mnemonic is emi low energy sadness of mood interest low interest 
एफ एम जी क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्क इन डिप्रेशन मेन सिम्टम इज मूड येस डिप्रेशन इज ऑल्सो कोल्ड मूड डिसऑर्डर येस दैट्स वाई द मेन फीचर वुड बी मूड लो मूड लो मूड डिक्रीज इंटरेस्ट डिक्रीज एनर्जी गिल्ट डिक्रीज कंसंट्रेशन appetite sleep so if all these symptoms out of these symptoms so many symptoms are also there suicidal thought suicidal thought if out of these five symptoms are there five symptoms according to dsm 5 for two weeks then the diagnosis would be depression if a patient comes to me and if a patient comes to me and is having symptoms of depression but not five don't fulfill criteria of depression depressive symptom not fulfilling criteria of depression then the diagnosis would be dysthymia if symptoms continue for 2 years means if depressive symptoms are there but they don't fill the criteria of depression yes and symptoms duration is 2 year then diagnosis is dysthymia if patient is having depressive symptoms criteria is fulfilled for 2 years then it is chronic major depression chronic major depression so what is double depression this question was asked before solving question yes one option was major depressive disorder or depressive symptoms for two year that yes this is chronic major depression okay now this two years depressive symptoms are there now this patient after two year develop few more symptom now the diagnosis of depression is made means a patient is having dysthymia diagnosis of dysthymia is made now symptoms increases now the diagnosis of depression is fulfilled so you will say this is double depression double depression means depression in dysthymic patient depression in dysthymic patient or depression with dysthymia is called double depression got the point major depression with ocd is pe question aayega कि इन ओ सी डी मोस्ट कॉमन कोमोरबिलिटीज डिप्रेशन बट दिस इज नॉट डबल डिप्रेशन यस सो मेनी टाइम्स क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्क ए ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर ओल्ड लेडी प्रेजेंटेड विद सडन ओन सेट चेस्ट पेन पालपिटेशन लास्टिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स एपिसोडिक एनजाइटी मीन सपोज आई एम सिटिंग सडनली स्टार्ट पालपिटेशन ब्रेथलेसनेस चोकिंग सेंसेशन एंड दीज डेवलप and dissolve within 15 to 20 minutes then it is panic attack panic attack matlab mujhe ekdam ghabrahat hui becheni hui yes palpitation breathlessness choking sensation chest pain to tum kya karoge mujhe turant emergency le jaoge all investigations would be normal to tum kahoge ye kya hai panic attack tha or multiple panic attack for one month then panic disorder so in this question there were three similar episode in the past yes this is panic disorder all investigation are normal but in this panic disorder was not given the option panic attack is there so this episode is panic attack got the point now ptsd suppose i give you a situation after severe road traffic accident road traffic accident or after bomb blast after earthquake rape patient presented with nightmares nightmares means after bomb blast all family member died in bomb blast now this patient visualizing that bomb blast again and again in dreams nightmares or flashback flashback means same scene of bomb blast is coming in his mind again and again these are called intrusion symptom intrusion symptoms patient is unable to sleep it means hyper arousal symptom hyper arousal symptom now patient don't use car bomb blast don't uh, yes because bomb blast happened in car or don't visit that place where bomb blast occurred so 
अवॉइडेंस ऑफ दो सिचुएशन अवॉइडेंस ऑफ दो सिचुएशन इफ दीज सिम्टम्स आर देयर फॉर मोर देन वन मंथ देन इट इज पी टी एस डी इफ लेस देन वन मंथ देन इट इज एक्यूट स्ट्रेस डिसऑर्डर एक्यूट स्ट्रेस डिसऑर्डर ओके सो टू डायग्नोज पी टी एस डी द सिम्टम शुड परसिस्ट मोर देन वन मंथ क्लियर Yes, this question has been asked multiple time. Postpartum, postpartum blues, depression, psychosis means after delivery, mother is having sadness of mood, sadness of mood, tearfulness, tearfulness. question would be there in which they will give you symptoms of depression and they will say these are mild symptom transient symptom so i highlight S mild symptoms transient symptom start 3 to 5 days after delivery and resolve within weeks two weeks around within weeks then it is postpartum blues it is very common 50 to 70% percent, 50 to 70% percent of patient may have means postpartum blues depression if same symptoms are given in the question and they gave that this is a severe symptom or anhedonia yes severe symptom how you will interpret anhedonia anhedonia guilt suicide then the diagnosis would be postpartum depression diagnosis would be postpartum depression now if patient is having delusion hallucination then postpartum psychosis and the content of delusion in postpartum psychosis is that i have given birth to dead child yes i have given birth to a demon okay rakshas ko paida kiya hai to hota kya hai this lady may kill uh, her baby so we should separate the baby from mother so this is postpartum psychosis so in this question clear cut answer mild depressive symptoms are there after few days of delivery which dip, disappears within 2 weeks of postpartum period the most likely cause is postpartum blues okay clear now you know bpad 1 and bpad 2 bpad 1 yes recently asked question multiple time question has been asked yes let me write here bpad1 bpad2 bpad1 1 means 1% prevalence is 1% yes male female ratio male female ratio is 1 suicide rate is around 10% 5 to 15% or 10% recently asked question BPAD2 more common in female than male. What is BPAD2? Yes, I will draw a flow chart. Very very important. Suppose there is a patient come to you having depression. This is depression. We represent depression like this. Yes, depression. This is called unipolar depression. Unipolar depression. Okay. now this patient is treated by antidepressant you know in depression we give antidepressant antidepressant and antidepressants are chosen on the basis of side effect profile yes antidepressants partially on side effect profile recent update now we say that antidepressant chosen partly on or partially on side effect profile and most common antidepressant uses ssri okay so if depression is there you use antidepressant this is called unipolar depression now this patient is treated by your treatment after after that patient develop again depression 
you will say depression are occurring again and again again and again more than one episode of depression than in recurrent depressive disorder more than one episode of depression recurrent depressive disorder now this patient is treated by antidepressant same antidepressant you give and patient is treated now this patient develop hypomania hypomania yes hypomania two looks like h so you will say that both depression and mania are there or hypomania are there means both polar touch bipolar disorders are is there and this is bpad2 bpad2 now this patient is treated after some time patient developed mania mania means bpad1 mnemonic bana lo make a mnemonic mania means bpad1 yes anywhere you will find mania you will say bpad1 before going to further detail let me ask you a question yes suppose patient is there yes you will give me reply depression 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 what is the diagnosis yes recurrent depressive disorder yes if question is asked mania 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 what is the diagnosis recurrent manic disorder or bpad1 yes please do reply yes bpad1 recurrent manic disorder koi diagnosis nahi hoti wherever you find mania diagnosis is bpad1 okay now this patient this patient developed yes this patient developed depression now it is called bipolar depression bipolar depression so why it is called bipolar means if depression is there before depression there had been episode of mania hypomania then this depression is called bipolar depression in this we never give antidepressant and all never give antidepressant alone yes kyun if you give antidepressant yes then this patient may go into mania this is called switching this is called switching got the point so if question is asked that a person goes into switching what you will do yes you will stop antidepressant in switching you will stop antidepressant and start mood stabilizer mood stabilizer okay what is the treatment best treatment for bipolar depression best treatment is fluoxetine plus olanzapine clear so this is about bpad1 and 2 now how you will differentiate between mania and hypomania mania and hypomania before going to this yes let me tell you the answer of this if a patient is there having four or more than four episode in one year yes suppose a patient is having yes four episode or four more than four episode in one year just like in this a patient has six episode more than four episode consisting of mania hypomania and depression in last one year means more than four episode that is a rapid cycler rapid cycler rapid cycler have poor prognosis have poor prognosis poor prognosis and treatment of choice is sodium valproate valproate okay yes duration of which uh, disorder dear satyam treatment of choice sodium valproate now if these symptoms are there yes excessive happiness is there psychomotor agitation is there distractibility self esteem is increased grandiosity flight of idea over familiarity is there yes over sexuality over activity decrease need of sleep over talkativeness is are there if these symptoms are there okay 
and there is socio occupational dysfunction what i said socio occupational dysfunction is there diagnosis would be mania if these symptoms are there and no socio occupational dysfunctions no socio occupational dysfunction or minimal socio occupational dysfunction then the diagnosis would be hypomania okay if delusion hallucination means psychotic symptoms are there yes delusion hallucination psychotic symptoms are there diagnosis would be mania if delusion hallucinations are absent there may be hypomania okay dear i am going to discuss satyam bhai hospitalization if present if hospitalization is present means patient would not be able to go to the work means occupational dysfunction is there means mania so these are very very important if hospitalization is not required then it is hypomania so question is asked what is the difference between mania and hypomania these are very very three important criteria duration of symptoms mania 7 days hypomania you will remember h y p o how many letters are there four four days okay but duration is not important criteria point it out if a patient came to me with these symptoms and patient is admitted patient is admitted so even if these symptoms are present for 3 days 4 days i will make the diagnosis of mania means above these three symptoms are more important than duration yes in mania flight of idea present in hypomania there would be prolexity prolexity pseudo hallucination present in mania usually absent in hypomania recently asked question they ask question and they give symptoms of mania or hypomania but no other option was suggesting difference between hypomania but they gave mania or hypomania they gave yes pseudo hallucination pseudo hallucination was present in question to better answer was mania yes ect electroconvulsive therapy may be two types ect modified ect direct ect direct ect just like you must have seen many movies yes take electricity wire put here stating of air that is direct ect so direct ect is totally banned according to mental health care act 2017 mental health care act 2017 direct ect is banned ab nahi laga sakte current yadi tumhe current lagana hai to modified ect yes means you will give general anesthesia plus plus muscle relaxant general anesthesia of choice is methohexital methohexital or thiopental thio pentone muscle extent succinyl choline so in ect patient with severe depression was treated with ect yes succinyl choline and thiopental patient was given what is this general anesthesia is thiopental and muscle extent is succinyl choline got the point now A student was referred for evaluation. Yes, difficulty uh, in study IQ fifty-five. You know mental retardation. The new word terminology is intellectual disability. Question has been asked in DSM five. The word has been replaced by intellectual disability. Not asked till now, but ICD eleven. The name has been changed. That is. disorder of intellectual development disorder of intellectual development but even now questions are asked that how we define mental retardation yes profound if less than 20 iq profound mr yes severe mr moderate mild so in this question mild mr is there if a patient came to me having mild mr yes i calculated means i found between 50 to 69 then you, i will say you have a patient is having mild mr father said dr saab please give some medicine increase iq 
तुमने कहा आई क्यू तो ना बढ़ा सकते उसने कहा सर फिर टेस्ट क्यों कराया हमने कहा टेस्ट इसलिए कराया बिकॉज पेशेंट वुड गेट द बेनिफिट डिसेबिलिटी बेनिफिट सेकेंड थिंग वी नो दैट माइल्ड एम आर आर एडुकेबल एडुकेबल मीन्स यू कैन एडुकेट अप टू सिक्स क्लास सिक्स क्लास मोडरेट एम आर आर ट्रेनेबल मीन्स You can educate means they can survive very easily. Trainable, you will yes, you will train the patient in some occupational work, and patient would earn and will live his life with supervision. So this is about mild MR, moderate MR. Now point it out. 70 is not a mental retardation. Sometimes questions are asked, and we remember 20, 20 to 35, 35 to 50, 50 to 70. No, 70 is not mental retardation. 70 is not mental retardation. So this is mild MR. Yes, two question back to back question were asked on Capgras and Frigoli syndrome. Capgras syndrome. Yes, I give example. There was a lady in ward. She used to say that. her husband is not her husband her husband used to live with her she used to say this is not my husband he is talking just like my husband he is walking just like her husband he is behaving just like my husband but he is not my husband he is somebody else okay means patient believes that a familiar person has been replaced by similar looking stranger means my husband familiar person has been replaced by similar looking stranger he is not my husband you ask why why you are saying that he is not your husband she said that my husband used to wear cap cap grass mnemonic ban gaya cap grass to example yaad rakhenge now second is free goli syndrome a patient says doctor saab a beggar sitting outside my flat is not beggar he is my boss he has changed his physical appearance just like beggar yesterday i went to post office he changed his physical appearance just like postman yes i came out of the post office he stopped me at red light he changed his physical appearance just like a policeman doctor saab he is changing his physical appearance just like he is changing mask so sometime image based question free goli syndrome patient believe yes that familiar person my boss is changing his physical appearance just like beggar and can take multiple physical appearance just like policeman postman so this is free goli syndrome so these two question were asked in 18 fmg back to back so remember these two are difficult to solve when questions are asked but you will remember by example cap grass yes my husband is not my husband because he is wearing cap free goli goli de raha hai bar bar change shape change sorry physical appearance change kar raha hai just like changing his mask so we have tried to cover important topics on the basis of previously asked topic and hope this will help you I'll, yes other than this discussion i would like to comment ki your positive thinking is required in the last phase of preparation if you will remain positive your outcome would be better your anxiety level would be less and your performance will increase so during this period last month you should be positive confident belief system that if you have worked hard it will be paid no need to worry if you have really worked hard you will clear your exam just remember in your mind never ever be hopeless helpless worthless okay feel worthless okay best of luck thank you